the 850 is now being increasingly positioned as an alternative to small light jets. Is the 850 meeting that hype? Absolutely, and uh, what we have to keep in mind is that the profile of a light jet is uh, being able to climb nonstop from sea level or whatever elevation airport you have to your uh, maximum optimum altitude. Unfortunately, if you're flying the East Coast or the West Coast, you're going to be in the middle of uh, the heavy hayliner that are flying at a much higher speed. So on a profile like Fort Lauderdale to New York, it's very hard to beat the TBM because we're going to be flying around 28,000 where the jets are, you know, obviously a lot higher. And if you're in a light jet, you know, you're going to have to stay a lot lower than your optimum altitude and it makes your profile a lot harder to reach. So therefore, the TVM has a range capability a lot better than those uh, new light jets on the market. Well, basically, I mean, the main advantage of the 850 is the climb performance. It really outclimbs the 700, and you can get on top of weather a lot faster. And once you're out there, you're gaining about 25 to 30 knots of cruising speed, and almost at the same burn. And this year, uh, the fuel uh, load has been increased, so it really helps out on those longer legs. Uh, I can fly from uh, Bangor, Maine to Florida with 50 knots headwind and still land with uh, 45 minutes reserve. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. I'd say it's a very easy uh, airplane to step in. It's basically a little heavier, but as far as power management and speeds, you're approaching at the same exact speed as uh, an SR-22. On um, a lightweight, the approach speed is 80 knots. And I do a lot of training in this aircraft, and I train uh, gentlemen with 500 hours, and they have no problem to upgrade to this aircraft. And the uh, PT-6 is a lot easier to manage than a jet, obviously. And the airplane slows down very well with this big prop in front of you, and it makes it easier uh, for profile and also to work in the pattern. The G1000 uh, was uh, overdue. Uh, it's a very nice setup for the airplane. Not only it brings uh, much better situational awareness, it also reduces the workload of the pilot. Well, basically, uh, the, the plane, you know, it's an everyday uh, 300 knots airplane, even on an ISOP plus uh, 15. And of course, in the winter, when the, the temperatures are very cold, I've seen as high as 325. But uh, the advantage of a TBM over a light jet, it also can take off at a high elevation airport with high density altitudes where the Eclipse or the Mustang would have a, a hard time. It is also an airplane that you can bring as an improved runway, such as uh, grass strips or graveled. Uh, which I do once in a while in Greenland, and we can uh, pretty much, you know, land on 2,500-foot runway and get out without any problem. Well, some of these uh, aircraft owners are updating from, uh, let's say, Malibu. They won't have to worry about pressurization, but basically, I mean, the pressurization is so simple. It's all automatic. All you have to do is set the dial to your cruising altitude, and once you're ready for the descent, just set it to your uh, field elevation. So it's very simple. And again, the G1000 helps a lot on the, uh, the management, your profiles, and so on. So, I mean, basically, the, the only thing that the owner has to worry about is uh, uh, engine power management, which is a little bit different than a piston aircraft. But it takes usually uh, 15 hours, 20 hours for an aircraft owner, a new owner, to feel comfortable in this new uh, TBM 850. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now!
I was really crying there for a second. Well, basically, on the uh, the TBM 850, the great advantage uh, that one uh, one has to remember is uh, it retains its value like no other airplane do that. And with the rising fuel prices, I mean, the airplane is obviously uh, much more efficient than a light jet, and it keeps uh, you know your operating costs much lower than your typical twin jet. Oh, I've met all uh, sorts of people. I uh, have a gentleman. Uh, they go from business size to business size. He travels uh, four days a week from uh, Ohio all the way to California and Seattle. Uh, you have uh, gentlemen that are all using the airplane uh, half and half for business and pleasure. What's coming also on the market now is a lot of new owners are hiring a pilot to be flown around, which uh, in the old days, like 15 years ago, it was just a typically owner-flown aircraft. So more people are realizing that this airplane is, uh, you know, is so efficient that you can use it as a business jet with a, a pilot. I would say this plane is as easy to fly as a Cherokee 6. You can come in at uh, 80 knots and land uh, on uh, very short runways. You can, uh, it's got a, such a wide operating range of speed that I've never seen. You, know, you can fly it at 85 knots straight and level with uh, a lot of uh, response to the aircraft. And you can also go as fast as 266 knots through airspeed, uh, which makes you a uh, descent profile uh, a lot faster. And uh, it's always fun with this aircraft. When ATC asks you to, uh, for descent, uh, you, you're always going to outmatch it by two times. So this plane is uh, unbelievable. I love it, every second of it. and. Uh, I'd say that everyone should have one. <laughs> <laughs>